story time close. So now that this is all over, and I know it's impossible for anyone reading this to make the connections I can talk about it, I've been a professional at what I do for a long time, but there was one guy who almost put an end to my career. This was about 10 years ago when I was working almost every week. I met a guy, we'll call him 32, and I love that he had long flowing hair that passed his shoulders. We talked a little bit, and 32 mentioned that he was a huge animal lover. As soon as he said it, I knew I found my way to get him alone. I tried to be as casual as I could, and asked him if he wanted to come back to my place and meet my dogs. Without any hesitation 32 jumped up, grabbed his coat and started walking towards the door. I couldn't believe how easy he was making everything, but I knew it would make the realization of his situation that much better. We got to my place, and I'm always worried that I won't get people through the door because of the smell. But even though he made a face, he strolled right through the door. They always go inside even though it smells like their future. I closed the front door behind us, and watched as 32 looked around for signs of dogs. I could see the panic all over his face, but he did a pretty good job keeping it together. I told him the dogs were in crates, at the back of the house, and pointed down the hall. I knew he had to pass the room where I keep my favorite parts, and I knew he would see it. It's always so much fun watching them pretend they don't see what's in the room, but 32 stopped in his tracks, and turned towards the room. He surprised me and sprinted towards the front door, but I didn't panic. He would realize all the locks needed a key. After that 32, and I had all the fun I could stand, and like everyone before him, I took my favorite parts. An ear, a beautiful eyebrow, and a tattoo from his calf. I wanted to to take his beautiful hair, but something inside told me to leave it so I did. I took 32 to the spot I brought everyone before him once I was done, and while I was digging the hole he jumped up and ran towards the road. I was so surprised it took a second for me to start chasing him. I didn't think I would be able to catch him before he made it to the main road, but then there it was, his long beautiful flowing hair. I grabbed it just in time, but it was close.